Today on Kaiju Wars was suggested by Kaimuri Staple, so shout out to him. He wanted Rodan to go against King Kong, so let's get into it. To make it fair for you, think there's show versions, so let's get into it. So yeah, Rodan. Rodan is 164 feet tall, weighs around 16,000 tons, and has a 393 feet long wingspan. Yeah, that's pretty much it. He's a giant pteranodon who first appeared in his own feature-length movie, Rod- R- Radon, or Rodan. Yeah. This was his first appearance. All brown, with a deeper roar. And puberty hit him hard. Okay, now King Kong. Now, apparently, Toho, the, st- the studio that makes Godzilla movies, apparently had the rights to use King Kong for a short amount of years. So, they used him in a movie called King Kong vs. Godzilla, and then that movie was a big hit, and still, they had, like, one more year in their contract, so they made Godzilla... So, they made the movie King Kong Escapes. So, yeah. Here's the here's the fucking 1962 King Kong. He looks pretty retarded, to be honest, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this King Kong is 147 feet tall and weighs around 25,000 tons. Yeah, he's not really the biggest. I mean, he's the biggest of the Kongs right now, but this King Kong. But the 2021 Kong, you know, and that one around like 400 fucking feet tall so there's that okay what abilities so rodan can headbutt he can peck he can claw with his talons he can pick up opponents and just throw them around he can also fly a supersonic speed and everything below him just fucking like explodes he can also flap his wings to to like make hurricane winds also, he has tornado breath. Yeah, tornado breath. When he shoots his, he breathes his air at you, it turns into a fucking tornado and it just blasts you away. Okay, now King Kong, what does this giant simp monkey have? Yeah, King Kong's a protector of skull and but he's also a very, but he's also a big simp for blonde women. Okay, King Kong, what do you have? Well, King Kong can punch, he can headbutt, he can use tools. Like how he used a tree and shoved that tree down Godzilla's throat. Anyways, yeah. He can punch, kick, headbutt, bite, you know, slam. Do some wrestling moves, you know. Use tools. But also, he has a lot of durability. Because he survived point blank range of Godzilla's atomic breath. Which is pretty impressive. He also has a lot of immense strength. And he has, he can absorb lightning and electricity. Yeah, so when lightning strikes him, he can turn, he can have electric punches. When he punches an opponent, his opponents, he can shock them. He can also grab his opponents and just shock them that way too. Yeah. Okay, how would they defeat each other? Well, bro, Dan just needs to pick up King Kong and just drop his ass in a, in a very far, high up distance. But King Kong, don't play like that. If King Kong is going to win, he's just going to have to snap the bird's neck. Even though King Kong is heavier, he's a lot shorter. And anyways, this fight takes place on Mondo Island. Fight. Rodan is just flying along. And he lands on this island. But he first, he goes in the water to take a dip. But he notices this giant monkey standing right there. So he roars at him. King Kong beats his chest and Starts like, you know, like slamming the water and starts like roaring at him. Rodan is just like confused. He's seeing like this giant miniature man just yelling at him. King- Rodan then just flaps his wings and a whole tsunami of water washes his ass up to shore. King Kong is getting pissed that he's getting pushed around and being treated as a joke. So he grabs the tree, jumps on like an NBA player, and slams, and just makes it like a do perfect headshot just by throwing the tree while jumping up in the air. Yeah, the tree hits road hits road Dan right in the face, and then that's when King Kong does a Superman punch and just punches King Kong, punches the giant Pteranodon down into the water. Now Rodan is getting pretty serious now. He's getting pretty angry. So he gets back up and pecks King Kong's titties. But King Kong bitch slaps the giant bird. 
Now this is when Rodan is getting pissed. He starts slapping his wings towards Kong, but Kong is just slapping his head. King Kong then gets headbutted, but King Kong head gets head headbutts back. It's just a back and forth battle, slapping, headbutting, punching, biting, until Rodan does his tornado breath and just breathes it right in front of King Kong's face. King Kong gets blown away, but then yeah, Kong gets back up, but he's a little woozy after all that air just went <laughs> into his face. Rodan then flies back up and just like kamikazes himself into the giant ape and just boom there. Rodan then gets back up and starts stomping all over King Kong. But King Kong grabs a large tree trunk and just whacks Rodan's head with it. Rodan is knocked out unconscious. And this is when King Kong gets to work. He starts strangling the giant Pteranodon. And the Pteranodon regains consciousness pretty quickly, but finds out that he's choking. Rodan then starts flying. And King Kong gets scared. But he lets go, but then latches onto Rodan's legs. Rodan gets dragged down by King Kong's immense weight, considering the fact that King Kong King Kong weighs six thousand tons more than fucking <laughs> than freaking Rodan. Rodan then gets dragged down by Kong, and then Kong turns into a freaking little Mac and knocks his knocks Rodan's ass out. Oof! Rodan is knocked out cold, and this is when. This is when Kong gets serious. He grabs another large tree trunk, but this time he breaks the wings of Rodan. Rodan screeches in pain as both of his wings are broken. As Rodan gets back up, he starts to like, you know, like backing off, you know. But King Kong... He can play like that. He grabs a rock and throws it into Rodan's chest. And Rodan... Oh, gets knocked over. Now Rodan is getting tired of treating, being treated like a shithead. So he flies over to Kong and knocks his ass over and starts stomping on his face. King Kong can't breathe under under the rapid fire of of Rodan just like <laughs> just that all over his face. So King Kong grabs him by the pelvis and slams him down to the ground. Rodan is surprised that Kong even grabbed him by the pelvis, and he's a little weirded out, but still. Now, they both stand up on their feet, and they look at each other. Rodan is furious and starts flapping his wings, but then he pretty much just forgot that he's, his wings are broken, so they don't really work. Kong beats his chest and starts, like, punching his face and neck. Rodan starts pecking, pecking him in the eyes, and he apparently takes one of King Kong's eyes with him. Rodan just eats that one eye, and King Kong is just left with this one eye. <laughs> King Kong roars in pain as blood is dripping down onto his hands and, and his chest and everywhere. King Kong then does a Hulk smash attack and slams down Rodan. Then the fight gets into the water. <coughs> Rodan kicks a bunch of water to King Kong's face and then tackles him to the ground. R Rodan then then jumps on top of Kong's shoulders and starts pinning him down. Yeah, Kong grabs him e anywhere basically. He can't seem to grab him anywhere because like his sh it's his shoulders. You can't move if someone's pinning you in the shoulders. You don't really have that much center of gravity to grab things. So he's just a sitting duck, or sitting gorilla, sitting monkey, I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Anyways, Kong is getting his ass handed to him, as this giant pteranodon is basically drowning him underwater. Even though Kong weighs like 6,000 tons more than Rodan, he's still getting, like, you know, he's still getting, you know, he's still getting pinned down. I mean, Rodan weighs less, but he's still heavy, you know. And that point of your body is still going to pin your ass down. Anyways, King Kong stops struggling a little bit and then doesn't move anymore. Rodan has won. 
he flies up in the air, but then forgets that, you know, he, he can't fly. And then just plops back into the water. Rodan is just weirded out that Kong even grabbed him by the pelvis. Looks like Rodan is just going to have to walk all, all the way over to his home, which is like thousands of miles away. Verdict. In a fight between King Kong and Rodan, I think Rodan would win. It'll be a close fight. It'll be really entertaining. But in the end, I just think that Rodan wins. He just has more abilities. Anyways, who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.